Well, John, after Tuesday, it's obviously a long trip back. How did the boys come out of the game and how did they recover and how did they train today? Yeah, they, they came out of the game um, really positively after the result. Obviously, it was, it was great to go away, take all three points and, and do it pretty convincingly. And then, yeah, it's just been about recovery since then. So a real focus straight after the game on what they're going to do to make sure they're right for the game at the weekend. Um, day off yesterday and then back in this morning just for a light session to turn the legs over. Um, all, of the, all of the right recovery protocols with the sport and exercise science team and on to tomorrow and Saturday. So after Tuesday, you said obviously the result was there, but maybe the performance was slightly below the standards that you've set since, since your time here by the boys. What work's been done post, since post-match on Tuesday and between, between now? just to sort of help them out and, and work on that, really? Yeah, well, we went through the, the positives and the, and the points of improvement that we, we want to see from the game on, on Tuesday night. So we went through all of that this morning and, and tried to give the lads a bit of guidance on, on what we thought they could have done a bit better. And it was a really difficult game because of the fact that Accrington went down to 10 men and it changed the predictability of the way that they were going to play, the predictability of the way they were going to press. And those are things we're going to have to deal with and deal with a bit better. But probably it's the... I think it, it may be the first time that... Um, we've come up against 10 men, um, certainly during my time here. So those are the sort of things that we will be able to work on the more time that we have on the training pitch. And um, yeah, l largely the work today was um, just going over that, reviewing the game. Not a huge amount of physical work today because of the nature of the, um, the travel and all the games that we've had recently. But um, a bit of time tomorrow to work on things before Bristol Rovers on Saturday. You just said it there, Bristol Rovers this Saturday, another away trip and another place where you're going to go and, and know what to expect. How are you going to approach the game as a team? Yeah, I mean, you know, Bristol Rovers have been you know, excellent now for the last couple of seasons, being promoted last year, and they've, they've got a good home record, and, and you know that they're probably going to sell out uh, the, the Memorial, and I think that's going to offer some you know, real challenges for us. Um, I think they're a really good side. Uh, we've seen them over the past few weeks pick up some really good results as well. So, yeah, we're going to approach it as we approach every other game, um, but you know, certainly make sure that just from a physical standpoint as a... As a, very, as a starter that we, we get ourselves right after Tuesday night that is the most important thing there's not a huge amount we can do on the training pitch between the end of the game Tuesday and, and Saturday we can work on quite a bit in the classroom and, and do all the recovery so yeah we get, we're going to approach it um, like any other game it's the last of this block I think of seven games in three weeks and you know if um, I think we're going to go there and be positive and, and try and get a result What specific threats are you expecting from Bristol Rovers on Saturday? Well they've got some really good attacking options if you've got Scott Sinclair who's, who's played at the top level um, you know the, the the front three. Um, Scott plays out on the right. The front three uh, are, are always a threat. They've Collins, Marcus, Coburn. I think Loft came off the bench the other day. Uh, so you know there's some really good good players in there. And you know when sides do come up, sometimes they they keep going and, and they give that momentum. And Bristol Rovers certainly had that momentum at the back end of last year, and they've carried it on um, to what's a really solid season in League One this year. So they've got a lot of attacking threat solid enough at the back and, and very well coached so we could expect um, you know, a, a stern test again on Saturday. What's the latest team news sort of focusing on injuries and, and suspensions as well? Yeah, um, everything as, as was on Tuesday night so no new injuries. Obviously we've got the, the Joe Piggott suspension but um, yeah, apart from that we've got a clean bill of health.